Hey guys, it's Kosa from Code and Wine, and welcome back to your fifth video tutorial on how to disassemble a laptop. Um, we've been focusing on the Dell Inspire, Inspiron N4110, and today we're going to be removing the top cover. Now, what is the top cover? Okay, so I'm going to show you in the video what I mean by the top cover, but the top cover to me is the cover below the keyboard where you access the motherboard and the parts underneath so that's what I'm calling the top cover alright so what are the things that we're gonna be needing to do here to continue disassembling this laptop we're gonna remove the screws under the keyboard we have removed the keyboard already among other parts removing screws holding cover outside underneath and I'll show what I mean by that removing other holding screws one time and I'll show you what are the other holding screws and uh, using the plastic spatula um, to pop the top cover then we're gonna be revealing the motherboard and that's basically what we're gonna be doing today so here we go so here is the laptop we have removed the battery by now the memory cards the CD-ROM and the keyboard all right now as you see right here keyboard is gone everything is basically gone of what I had mentioned already now these connections right here that connection goes to these three little buttons this one is connected to the mouse and this one is connected to the power button over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this and to do so we're just gonna pop that black pin out and then we can grab gently the connection and pull it out done that do the same procedure pop the pin grab the connection for the mouse pull it out and again pop the pin grab the connection pull it out alright now you see these screws right here they are 5m 5x5 five five screws I don't know if you can see it yeah, M2 five by five, sorry. And we're gonna remove the five of them. So grab the Phillips screwdriver, press gently and unscrew. So these are around the same size as the one with of the CD ROM, so we're gonna put it in the same area. So second screwdriver. Third. Our fourth screw, press to turn to the right, continue the same procedure. Set screw over there with the others, press down to the right, unscrew, and that's the last M2 by 5 screw. Alright, once we have done that, we're gonna flip it over because um, <coughs> we can't really take out the cover as yet. There are a couple other things that are holding this. <clears throat> all right and you see here these small little screws and over here is another one and somewhere over here is another one right there they are 4 m2 by 3 screws they are different size so we're gonna remove them <clears throat> these are the ones by the city room they are smaller as you can see so we're gonna put them aside <clears throat> from the bigger ones Do the same thing for the M2 by 3 found by where the battery was. And we just do the all the removing all these uh, screws one time for what we're going to do next, right? Alright, so this one is giving a little bit of trouble, but basically I've got it out. So, going back now. So basically we, we remove the screws under the keyboard and we remove the screws holding this cover outside and underneath. Now there is the removal of other holding screws that we're going to do one time um, and they also hold 
the, the cover and other parts underneath so we're gonna remove these one time so let me show you and here's my recording okay so we had just removed that right so th you see these little holes right here they have screws and they are the normal size if I wanna call them normal so I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be removing all of these right so let me do that <coughs> grab my Phillips screwdriver now and put it in there press down to the right unscrew I am not using a magnetic screwdriver for safety purposes you should tr try avoid using magnetic screwdrivers with um, with a laptop alright so the I cannot take out the screws just like that, all right? I'll have to flip over the laptop to get them out. So I'm just going to unscrew all of them. As you can see, almost done. And this one somehow got stuck there, so I took that out. All right, last three. Okay, this one is a little hard. You might find hard screws. All you need to do is press gently downwards to the right until you're able to unscrew them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that um, I'm just going to flip this over and collect these screws, all right? And then I'm going to put them over there. So what we've done here now is removing the other holding screws one time. That's what I meant by the other holding screws, okay? So let's go back now to the last piece. And as you can see, all the screws are there now. So now that we've done that, we're going to flip it back. And so, uh, and it might seem like I'm not handling my laptop at the best, but I'm working with one hand. And I needed my other hand here. So I'm going to use this spatula. This one is usually used, I think, in painting and those areas. If you have a plastic spatula that works so you don't scratch, use that to insert right there on the side and to pop up, see, spatula is in. So leave that spatula to use as the lever there and then pull out and voila, the top cover is out. And as you can see here, there's the mouse and to remove the mouse, all you need to do is remove these three screws and then the connections, this connection right here is the one that went to outside this you can remove by that screw this is the power button i believe yes and then this is another screw holding those uh, three little lights you see that turn on on to your right of the laptop when you turn on the computer so once you've done that you just unscrew and put it back and basically i'm not doing that for you so i was just showing you to so you know what to do and basically we stayed in front of the motherboard right there we reveal the motherboard so using plastic spatula we pop the top cover we did that and the last thing we did was reveal the motherboard and we're gonna be dealing the motherboard in the next video tutorial so thank you guys for watching you can visit codeonwine.com for more tutorials there's my Twitter page YouTube Facebook and um, see you in the next tutorial for the, for the motherboard part Alright, thank you.